Hi, friends. Um, look at this. It's a beautiful day out. Um, I've just had a haircut. I'm feeling great. I just bought some um, dark, dark chocolate. And it's awesome. And I was just thinking, I'm so grateful for what I have in my life. And um, I actually started uh, keeping a, a list of what I'm grateful for yesterday. Um, I, I used to do it a while ago, and I, I think when I first watched uh, Sean Arker's TED Talk about uh, positive psychology, and he says, you know, it makes you happier to, to, to take time every day to be, be grateful. And yesterday I heard something else which made me kind of restart this, which is uh, there was a few dots that were connected for me that were kind of important. So I'm listening to um, a, a talk uh, called The Power of Vulnerability, which is a, a six-hour um, workshop from Brene Brown. I bought it on Audible, and she talks about a lot of things, but the thing I heard yesterday was she talks about how one of the ways that we kind of try and shield ourselves from vulnerability is by having this sense of what she called ominous joy, which means that um, when you feel happy, your mind starts to think about all the things that could go wrong. And um, you, may, you may have an experience like that. If you think about the moments where you were most ha happy in your life, um, just little moments, you know, where you just think, wow, this is great. And then you just, your mind just kind of just for a second, just flashes to, to how things could go terribly, horribly wrong. And um, that's called ominous joy. And, she, and Brene says in her research, she found that almost everybody does this. Almost everyone. Uh, so you're not alone. If you've done that, you're not alone at all. Almost everyone has the sense of, um, oh, things are, are great right now. <laughs> What's going to go wrong next? You know, like, oh, shit, it's too good, you know? Um, and the, the reason why we do this is kind of to protect ourselves from getting too optimistic from from saying like oh you know vulnerability you can't you can't hurt me because you know I'm, I'm ready for things to go wrong you know if, if something um, comes at me from the side I, I'm ready for it I've already thought about it except of course that you can't you can't ever be ready for for something terrible to happen for tragedy to strike like you no matter how much you've thought about it you're not gonna be ready for it so you're just turning something that was great into something that was sad because you're thinking about tragedy even though there's none there and then the other thing she said was the, the reason why it's so easy for us to do that you know 150 years ago it wasn't so easy for us to to jump to tragedy and visualize in graphic detail how things could go wrong and of course the reason is because look at our media landscape we're bombarded with um, pictures text but mostly graphic images of, of violence. And of course our, our minds can quickly recall how uh, tragedy can strike. We can, we can visualize in an instant what, uh, what that looks like. So the, this availability of, of, of kind of examples of tragedy in our minds from media, not from real life, but from media, because in our real lives, things are getting better and better and better, and there's much less sadness and tragedy around us in our real lives but in the media there's more and more and so of course our brains have access to those images and then they use them to our brain uses it to try and defend against vulnerability so uh, Brene said that when she studied the people who what she called were wholehearted people who have a lot of vulnerability and who are living really authentically what she found was that they all have a an explicit um, habit of, of gratitude they don't just they don't just accidentally grateful they actually uh, work at being grateful and she said that makes sense because if we were so bombarded with these media images of, of, of tragedy then of course we have to work at being grateful for that for for our brains not to default to that so no matter how you do it whether it's through um, through uh, at the end of the day, thinking about what was the best thing that happened today or um, keeping a journal where you just journal about the best thing that happened in the last 24 hours or whatever else it is. Um, it's so important to keep that, to keep that journal of gratitude. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say today.
hope you're enjoying a beautiful day as well and i'll see you tomorrow ciao